A special event planned for Thursday night will explore St. Louis's history of housing discrimination. Contact 2's Mike Colombo has more on the real estate agency hosting it and how you can attend for free. Numerous historical events, laws, decisions, and initiatives reflect the history of explicit racial segregation and discrimination. We apologize for these actions. Last September, Katy Berry, then president of St. Louis Realtors, delivered a powerful apology during an event detailing St. Louis's history of residential racial segregation. The group's apology came with the course of action. The Reimagining St. Louis plan includes 22 different initiatives the association says it's using to educate, promote, and support African Americans and other minorities interested in all aspects of the real estate industry. So it was time for us to come forward and say we're sorry. A year removed from the Reimagining St. Louis announcement, one real estate agency is doing its part to shine a light on local housing inequity. I'm so proud of Red Key Realty Leaders. Jill Butler is an amazing leader, and she's really worked to make uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion a priority within the company. Nate Johnson is a broker associate with Red Key Realty Leaders. On Thursday, November 2nd, Red Key is hosting a special event at the High Point Theater it hopes will educate attendees on the critical importance of addressing housing development issues locally and nationally. How would you like to buy a bank? The event will start with a screening of the film The Banker. It tells the story of the first African-American bankers in the United States who fought racial discrimination in housing and lending practices. It's just a little bit of information in an entertaining way that can really help people understand some of the challenges that have created you know, where we're at today. Following the film, St. Louis and Vivian Gibson, author of The Last Children of Mill Creek, will deliver a presentation detailing how her childhood neighborhood was dismantled in the 1950s as an act of urban renewal. And she's going to share with us after the screening uh, her perspective on how that occurred and, and some, some highlights from her book. So that'll be, a, that'll be a great event overall. Johnson believes revisiting this history and recalling racism's role in housing is an important part of eliminating it in the future. Yes, the Fair Housing Act was passed in 1968. That didn't end racism. And there's so much that is still happening today that is creating inequitable communities. And we have to work to create a higher level of awareness in our communities so that we can make changes that are necessary to create the future that we can all be proud of. For more information on Thursday night's free event and a link to reserve your ticket, look for this story on fox2now.com. Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News.